Welcome to ETA Pro. I'm Carlos Batista. This channel helps provide guidance to aircraft maintenance technicians, AMTs, who wants to become familiar with the requirements and to successfully obtain an FAA airframe and power plant certificate. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell notification for future videos. Let's get started. The positive aspects of human factors issues are referred to as the Magnificent Seven. Certificated mechanics under the general certificate privileges may perform 100 hour inspection of instruments. Who has the authority to approve for return to service a propeller after a 100 hour inspection? One, a mechanic with a power plant rating. Two, any certificated repairman. Three, a non-certificated mechanic working under the supervision of a certificated mechanic with an airframe and power plant rating. The answer is one, a mechanic with a power plant rating. When we think of aviation safety in a contemporary way, human error is the starting point. 14 CFR part 65 contains information for the certificate of airmen other than flight crew members, which is a classify as a major repair. The splicing of skin sheets. What is the maximum duration of a temporary airman certificate? It's 120 days. How many areas of aviation have shifted their focus from eliminating errors to preventing and managing error? Why is it a mechanic applicant issue a temporary certificate after successful completion of the required test? To allow for review of his or her application and supplementary documents. An airworthiness director requires that a propeller be altered. Certificated mechanic could perform and approve the work for return to service if it is a minor alteration. The three types of human errors are omission, commission, and extraneous. The replacement of a damaged vertical stabilizer with a new identical stabilizer purchased from the aircraft manufacturer is considered a minor repair. 14 CFR Part 65 Subpart D contains regulations regarding the certification of mechanics. What part of the federal regulations prescribes the requirements for issuance mechanic certificates and associated ratings and the general operating rules for those holders of these certificates and ratings? 14 CFR Part 65. Under Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, what is the maximum penalty for falsification authorization, and fraudulent reproduction of certificates, logbooks, reports, and records. Suspension or revocation of certificate held. One, certificated mechanics with a airframe rating may perform a minor repair to an airspeed indicator, providing they have the necessary equipment available. Two, certificate mechanics with a power plant rating may perform a repair to a propeller providing they have the necessary equipment available. Neither number one nor number two is true. Certificated mechanics with a power plant rating may perform a 100 hour inspections required by the federal aviation regulations on power plants, propellers, or any components thereof and may release the same to service. The shell model is another human factors tool. The goal is to determine not only what the problem is, but also where and why it exists. Which of the following statement is true for a certificated and appropriately rated mechanic regarding repairs and alterations? 
He or she may perform an airframe major repair or major alteration, but cannot approve the work for return to service. How is a quality system assured? By an internal reporting and auditing system. Instrument repairs may be performed by an FAA approved instrument repair station. Who is responsible for determining that the materials used in an aircraft maintenance and repair are the proper type and conforms to the appropriate standard? The installing person or agency. Which of the following is an instance when a special flight permit may not be issued? Flying passengers on a scheduled operation. The replacement of a damaged engine mount with a new identical engine mount purchased from the aircraft manufacturer is considered a minor repair. John and Nancy have been tasked with completing a hydraulic pump inspection. John is 5 feet 9 inches tall. Nancy is 5 feet 6 inches tall. What could result if Nancy is not tall enough to accomplish the task? Human error. Which of the publications contain standards for protrusion of bolts, studs, and screws through self-locking nuts? The Advisory Circular 43.13-1B. A certificate mechanic should not exercise the privileges of the certificate and rating unless, within preceding 24 months, the administrator has found the certificate holder is able to do the work or the certificate holder has served as a mechanic under their certificate and rating for at least six months. A 100-hour inspection required by the Federal Aviation Regulations on a power plant or any component thereof and approve and return the same to service. How long is a mechanic certificated with airframe and or power plant ratings valid? Until surrender, suspended, or revoked. FAA certificated mechanics may approve or return to service a minor alteration they have performed appropriate to the rating they hold. How long does the holder of a certificate issue under 14 CFR Part 65 have to notify the FAA after any change in permanent mailing address? You have 30 days. A repair as performed on an airframe shall mean the restoration of the airframe to a condition for safe operation after damage or deterioration. All of the following are consequences of human error, except mental stressor. The 100-hour inspection required by the FAA for certain aircraft being operated for hire may be performed by appropriately rated mechanic and approved by them for return to service. A person working under the supervision of a certificated mechanic with an airframe and power plant rating is not authorized to perform a 100-hour inspection. The replacement of a fabric on fabric cover parts such as wings, fuselages, stabilizers, or control surfaces is considered to be a major repair even though no other alteration or repair is performed. According to Dr. James Reeson, there are two types of human failure which can occur, and they are active and latent. When may an otherwise qualified mechanic who does not read, write, speak, and understand the English language to be eligible to apply for a mechanic certificate? when employed outside the United States by a U.S. air carrier. Hope you found this video informative. Question for you is, what subject you find it difficult to study? Share your comments below this video.